Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to review Sunfish Serum Shorts uh, range. Actually I bought two serum from this range. The first one I bought is 25% AHA, 5% PHA and 2% BHA. And the second one is um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum with Vitamin B3. This costed me uh, like 250 around 250 rupees each and the actual MRP is 299 each now these are glass bottles with like dropper pumps and these are biphasic serums if when you shake it like this the watery part and the oily part get emulsified and you get a serum consistency like this. Same with the hyaluronic acid serum. Uh, this is also biphasic. You have to shake it and then it becomes like a bit um, kind of like this. And the texture is a bit oily. Mainly not a bit, a lot oily. I am showing you. When you apply this on your hand, like on your skin, this becomes really oily. This doesn't get absorbed quickly. It stays glowy and oily like this on your face until you wash it off with some soap or face wash. Look how oily it is. Look at this. It will not get absorbed at all. So this is the texture. This is cruelty free and color free and fragrance free. But this peeling solution has a bit of smell which I find a little bit overpowering. Now let's come to my experience with these serums. Actually my skin is very very oily and um, sensitive. So this kind of oily serum doesn't work for me like obviously but when I searched, or, searched it on Nika I found like it has 5 stars and so many people has reviewed it like it is the best one for them and so on I can understand the price point is really affordable and you are getting like 30 ml of yeah 30 ml of uh, this kind of serums for like 299 rupees at the maximum so you may like it if it suits your skin like I guess for very very dry skins these kind of serums will work but for my skin it is oily and it didn't work I'm saying this not only because it is uh, oily or something uh, whenever I use this uh, peeling solution it broke me out like I got allergic reactions with this and I had to treat that medically and with this hyaluronic acid serum, its consistency and uh, like it didn't feel good on my skin, on my face specifically. I use this on my body and it works fine like, like some body oil. But I won't recommend this to anyone uh, who has like oily and sensitive skin, especially this one for sensitive skin. I won't recommend this. Uh, this is the peeling solution. I won't recommend this peeling solution for any person who has sensitive skin. This broke me out really bad. I had bumps all over my face and I just instantly regretted that I put it on my face. I should have done a patch test here or some somewhere near my neck. But I didn't do that. I thought that it will work really good. I was really excited because this was biphasic and I expected a lot actually from this. Um, I thought that uh, it will not um, take away or strip up the moisture from my skin. So yeah, I just put it directly on my face and I got really bad allergic reactions. Uh, this one is not that bad but I won't 
recommend for oily skin people but if you have extremely dry skin um, it may work for you that's all i have to say about these two serums and i am not repurchasing them definitely because uh, they didn't work for me i'm using that exfoliating serum for exfoliating my elbows and knees and feet and all this so you can understand this is a total waste of money for me at least and the hyaluronic acid serum i am using as a body moisturizer i can get a lot of quantity for like 300 or rupees of moisturizer so no point of using or using this or buying these two specifically in my opinion thank you so much for watching this video and bye till my next video